Hello and welcome to another video from our Audio for Games module here at Point Blank Music School. Our lecturer, Rory Walker, will talk you through how you can create a brand new object in Unity and then attach it to an audio event in FMOD. Please enjoy. There are three ways to create a new game object in Unity. From the top menu, from the plus in the hierarchy, or if you right click anywhere in the hierarchy menu. We have two options to create an empty game object or to create an empty child. Now the latter just means that it will create a game object inside the existing audio parent that I have here. It just helps to keep things organized. So now that we have a new game object, we can see that its transform has placed it right in the middle of the map at 000. So the first question we need to ask ourselves is what object in the game are we trying to sound design? I want to start off with the brain that exists in the first room where we start in the game here. So I'm just going to move the game object over to sit on top of that brain. And that's roughly in place there. I want to name this game object. We're going to call it Brain Room Ambience. And now that it's in the right place in the transform position, we need to add the component that is going to make this work as an audio object. So first up about components. Components are small scripts that allow us to provide functionality to the game object in the game. Unity, of course, has many such components, and FMOD has a selection of its own. You can access them here in the components menu in the inspector, or if you prefer, you can go to the menu at the top, where you will see that FMOD Studio has created its own folder of scripts. So we will learn about the full list of FMOD scripts as we go on through the module. Well, the one that we're really interested in at the moment is the FMOD Studio Event Emitter, a script that allows a sound to come from this game object. You'll notice that it is asking for an FMOD event here, hence the exclamation mark. And if we go to the magnifying glass, you will see the full list of FMOD events that have been built into the master bank. But we don't want to use one of these events, we want to create a new event. So let's go over to FMOD and have a look at how to do that. I can do so with the button down here at the bottom left, we can do so using the create menu at the top, or you can right click anywhere in the event list. The first decision is 2D versus 3D. We'll discuss this in much closer detail later, but let's just start with the basic idea that this is a three dimensional brain in a room and we want the sound to fill that room and not to fill other rooms. This is very clearly a 3D event. Then we're given the option of an action or a timeline event. Timeline event is the one that will be very familiar to you because it's similar to how things work in your DAW. That is to say that you can put sounds anywhere along this timeline and the sound will be played according to its position on the timeline. FMOD has now added these new action events Action event sheets exist for simpler game audio events, which once fired can be triggered repeatedly, for instance gunshots or footsteps. I'll start by demonstrating a timeline event as it is the simpler of the two. Let's name our event. I'm going to call this Brain Ambience. And I want to place it inside the Ambience folder, which you can just do by dragging it. Let's import the audio that we want to sound design this with. This is a sound that will play throughout the duration of the game, so we want it to loop properly and seamlessly. In order to get this event to loop, I need to create a loop region, which is best done by right-clicking on the actual file and going to New Loop Region. That creates a loop region that is the exact length of your asset. Let's have a listen. So that'll do for this demonstration. Now, how do we get this event into the game? Well, first of all, we'll notice that it is hashtag unassigned. This is there to remind us that we need to assign all new events to the appropriate bank. The banks listed here in the banks list are the way that sounds are imported into the game. Currently, all the events are loaded into the master bank for simplicity. To assign it to a bank, simply right click the brain ambience event, go to assign to bank, and choose the master bank. Having assigned it, now when we go to press build, let's remember that's F7, it will load this new sound file into the master bank and therefore into the game. So at this point, we can return to Unity. If we go to the event list, 
in our studio event emitter, we should now find our new brain ambience event. And there it is. But before we can hear this sounding game, we need to choose how the sound is played and stopped. If we go and have a look at the list here, we'll see the various options. In this instance, object start and object destroy are the right choice and would be the correct choice for almost all ambient sound events. Having chosen our play and stop behaviors, we can now test the sound out in game. Now, given that this is a new 3D ambient event, I want to be able to concentrate on just that sound. Command click, select both of these events at the same time. And over here in the inspector, we can simply turn these game objects off with this tick box here. This means that we can listen to the brain room ambience in isolation. So there it is. We can see that this sound is emanating from the brain itself. And if I turn my head, we can hear how the sound pans. The sound should get louder as we get closer, quieter as we go away. So these variables in how you hear the sound, how big it is, or how much it pans when you turn your head, these are the parameters of the spatializer, which we'll be learning about in the next video. Have a go at adding some of your own new game objects and own new sound events to your game to populate the many different rooms and many different game objects with sound.